What's up, dudeskies? Got something super cool to show you today. Gin and Juice by Dre and Snoop Dogg. Premium gin crafted cocktail that they made after uh, Snoop Dogg's big hit back in the day, 30 years ago by, from their, his, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> words are hard today. So it's the 30th anniversary of his debut album, Doggy Style. Great album. This is an amazing song. I know damn well you've heard it. Everyone's heard it. But these all come in at 5.9% of the alcohols. And they are low sugar and all natural. And we got citrus. And look at the color for each car. <laughs> they all say that. That's cool as hell. And then we got uh, apricot. Show the car. <laughs> There's probably be a quick video. We got four flavors, but passion fruit. That purple is sick. Not a fan of low riders, but those still look cool as hell. I would love to have that car. I would just keep it raised up. <laughs> and then uh, melon. Most likely I'd be getting that red because red's my color. So we got four flavors. It comes in an 8-pack, which that's the sucky thing about this. I paid like 24 bucks for an 8-pack variety pack of this. So the price is kind of high. Actually, it's really high. But we're going to start off with the apricot. They're going to all be the same color, I'm sure. So I didn't get no glass. I'm just going to drink right out of the can. Cheers. I drank it and then I smelled it. Ass backwards jar. Good smell to it. Pretty damn good taste. It has a, some like a really bit, uh, seltzer water taste to it. Just tastes like a, like a gin seltzer type thing. That one's not bad. That one's pretty good actually. Good flavor. I don't eat too many apricots so I'm not really sure about the flavor. Like what it's supposed to be exactly. I think well, apricots are the little, little little tiny mini peaches kind of things, right? I don't know I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but I give that one a 3.5 out of 5. It is good. I would definitely drink it again. Then let's uh, go passion fruit. Ooh, this one's really good. Super good flavor. Again, not... Super sure what passion fruit can supposed to taste like either. I know I've had it in like a lot of drinks. Seems like it's gotten pretty damn popular over the last couple years. But I'm gonna give that one a four four point five out of five. It still has that seltzer soda flavor, seltzer water, whatever the hell it's called. But yeah, that's why it's getting not a perfect score. Next we got citrus. And you got that green. That green's sick too. Toxic show. There you go. You gotta call your, you need to color your car like that. And put your logo on it. That'd be cool as fuck. That one's good. That one's really good. But then the afterburner, it does the seltzer kind of kicks in more. So I'm gonna give that a four out of five. But still, damn good. I'm going to shotgun some of these next time. Last is melon. That cool ass red. There we go. Get my van in that red and put my logo on it. That one's just as good as the passion fruit, not better. That one's super good. Again, four out of five, four and a half out of five. Same, the seltzer thing kind of takes it down just a little bit. But, man, this whole pack is great. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Just because of how good it is. The price makes me want to say give it a lower score. But it is what it is. 
flavor wise, drinkability wise, eight out of 10. If you see this, highly suggest you get it. And I'm honestly not a big fan of gin. I don't like gin, straight up. I just don't like gin. <clears throat> it has to be mixed with stuff. So I was really iffy on this. <clears throat> Burp. <laughs> when I got it, I, had, I, I got it because it's Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Let's be honest. I'll be honest with you. That's why I got it. And I like the car on the box. Look pretty dope. And I'm a craft beer nerd, so... I usually pick things about the can art and everything else, uh, mainly over everything else. <laughs> but till next time, dude skis. Van is still down. Going to um, take it in next week. This weekend, I am heading down to Ohio for the third annual beer fest at Kosai. So stay tuned for that. I'll take. Some shots, because you guys have seen the videos there before. But I'll give you a little bit of footage and uh, show you us there again. So stay tuned for that, and I will let you know about what's going on in the van here soon. Because I did do a little remodel. I cut some shit out. Got more room in here. And I got a special guest that's back in the van. I put it on one of my shorts, but... Darth is back. He is back hanging out with us. Still gotta do some more rearranging, maybe put him somewhere where he's just always in the videos. That'd be cool. Someone else I'm trying to bring back and put in the videos again, too. If you've been around long, long enough, you remember Bucky. Be cool to get him back in here. Get and hit him, him in the van. <laughs> Have all, all my toys in the van. Alright, dude, skis, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe so you can see more of my foolishness. And just have a good night. And cheers. Later, dude skis. Say bye, Darth. Your destiny lies with me. Yeah, with me. <laughs> me. Subscribe. Drive 31. Later. <laughs>